Hey guys, it's Brayden, and if you're a Vegas winner for as I am, you'd know how rare this is. This is an orange strife, so these are hard to find on the market. Um, so let's do a little comparison with the modulus. This goes for 25 US dollars, so this is a lot less than, this is half as much than the modulus. It comes with a six start clip, which is not useful, which you cannot use for most nerf wars. But I recommend using the 6 dart clip and having a, a drum or an 18 dart clip in the back and it how in the module stop because the 18 dart clip is one handed maneuvering but the 18, with the 18 you have to do that. So I recommend doing that. So you have a barrel attachment point, a tactical rail, and a stock attachment point. You have a sling mount here and here, there is a couple of locks. There's a jam door lock, so if the jam door is open, you cannot use it. If there is no clip in it, you cannot rev it. If there are no darts in it, you can't pull the trigger. So it has a lot of modding capabilities. And the internals are pretty complicated. This is a flywheel. It's for about $25 on the US, and, not, and that makes it half of the modulus. So, comes with a six dart clip, comes with six elite darts. That has to remind us of tactical rail down here. Um, this is really hard to find in orange stripe. And this is actually hard to find on the market because they usually come in blue and white. And that's harder to get. So, my personal combo would be like this. Give me a second, guys. So, the notch goes into this notch. So, I personally run with this because the barrel extension, I lose a little bit of range, but I don't end up like curving up my arm or anything. So, I don't end up curving up at all. So we're done with the barrel extension. Oh my god, okay, that was flying. The stock attachment point houses the A18 round clip. So all of the things match because the white and the orange match this whole thing. And the white and the orange on this matches it. So you end up getting really good performance out of just this if you wanted to do it. Like this, I recommend running it. Like this, if you're, um, in a, like if you're older, but if you're like two, or like six or something, I'd recommend holding it right here because you end up actually like extending your arm the fullest. But since I'm older, uh, I'm actually <coughs> is this so you don't have to. Do that and curve your arm up. And the revving is a little bit softer than the module, so you'd be better off with the strife because it's a lot tinier and compact and it has a stock and a barrel attachment point. So is the modulus, but the modulus are it's a little bit more different because of the I have the modulus stock barrel grip because they're all really comfortable, but if you want the performance out of this, I'd recommend taking off the barrel extension and modding the whole thing. And taking off this and putting like a drum mag in here. Like a uh, 25 dart drum mag. But let me just show you how powerful it is. I'm going to back out of the shot. We do get jams frequently. Like that one's a jam. Five yards. So it comes with a six star clip. And the six star clip is useful. 
for some capabilities. The thing is, I like about the six dart hook is that since the spring is so low, once you've loaded six darts and put it into the stripe, you can't even tell if it's loaded, so you can actually just pretend like it's full and be like, get on the ground, or something like that. Because you can't even see, you can't even see that. I'm going to load the dart real quick. I'm going to load all six. This will take a second, guys. You can't even see that's loaded. So, if you want to do like some sort of um, blaster or like a Star Wars thing, I'd recommend painting a string. Because let me show you what happens when you pull down the trigger too long. Um, I also know how to make it burst fire. And that's a trick um, I can do right now why I do this because if you take too long to pull the trigger this is what happens this sounds like some sort of blast from a Star Wars thing let me just show you okay so that's one loaded take out the clip I'd recommend I'd load, I'd front load one, um, there's one, and that was just two right there. But you can also do three if you put on the barrel extension. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So you can load everything. Three darts. And there's four right there. Bam. The thing is, you do waste a couple of darts. But if you're in a group, I'd recommend. Like, if there's, like, six people coming at you, then I'd recommend grabbing, start loading, like, really quick, and be like, and just pull the trigger, and then they, and they can just shoot them all. So, that's my personal combo, that's my opinion, I should get, this is a lot better than the modulus, it's half price, um, more, this is a more rare strike, so if you find an orange one, take it. Unless you don't have enough money to buy it. Um, because orange stripes are a lot more rare than the blue and white stripes. So blue and white stripes are kind of hard to get. Or um, orange and white because they only make, I think, orange and whites every thousands. Every a thousand or a hundred they make blue stripes. Correct me in the, if I'm wrong in the comments. But um, it is a little bit off-sided. And I can show you that. Because if you look down this, it looks a little bit off-sided, because it is. And the revving, I don't know if you guys can hear that, because it's not that loud, it's not as loud as the modules. And this is a pretty good hoop system, six starts, so if you want to make a nerf combo or something that you like your sniper or something, you could buy this for the clip and the gun itself, because flywheels are freaking amazing. You can do like
so the 18 dirt clip actually let me show you the 18 dirt clip goes like is about wait, let's see a size comparison of an 18 dirt clip to the actual gun look at this the 18 dirt clip is to the stock attachment point so the 18 dirt clip is about as long as this so you can fire 18 darts load in the six and then fire some more but that's all for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope this was very entertaining and this will convince you to put a stripe on your christmas list and put more nerf guns on your christmas list um so boom codes aren't actually bad boom codes are actually the same as nerf but they are not the same bullets and everything so a lot of people have been requesting the boom co versus nerf well, we honestly like nerf and boom co we honestly don't care we honestly just buy them for what we want this gun does not jam frequently yeah that's right i call it a gun but it's actually a nerf blaster um but it does not jam frequently which is really good unless you're like doing the thing like there you go then it will actually jam more frequently. So, bye guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.